Hello and welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Tonight's uh, craft roulette elements are see-through, rustic garden, fashion, and hexagon. Now tonight's the first night I've been home on a Friday night in a while and I've had to watch it away from my craft, craft desk so I'm quite happy that I'm going to be home and I can work on my project while the show is on. So I've got the show going in the background and um, this is an interesting one. I have had this paper pack that I got in a kit that's Kathy Holden and I it's a rustic type pack and it's not really kind of my typical project but I saw this Queen Bess corset and skirt supporter and I thought wow there's fashion and even rustic I just thought that was hilarious so what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna have a see-through dress rather I'm gonna have a see-through window and I'm gonna have this um, sticker on a sheet of paper is what I'm gonna do so what I'm doing is I'm preparing my see-through window and basically I went ahead and cut out I thought this paper kinda went with that and that I could take my sticker and actually center it on here and I'm not sure so I'm just going to lay down the corners I think that would be pretty centered and then I can cut this hole out in this card and actually put this inside of it so that it's not actually what is inside my um, card but I'm gonna have to come up with some type of a design for the outside this is as far as I've gotten so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out I think and then I'm gonna come up with some type of a panel that I can use to put on there so um, I'm just gonna go over to my die cutting machine cut this out and then I'm gonna come up with some type of a pattern okay so I got my center cut out of my um, card base and I also have this vintage paper here that I thought would look kind of good um, that seems like a vintage garden color and I thought that would work so I went ahead and took the die cut that I used for this and I cut it out of here so I'm going to use that and hopefully I can get it to lay down um, I should have done the two at the same time but I think it'll work just fine so I'm going to go ahead and get it laid down on there. I'm just going to use my tape runner and get it going. And they are making great progress on their cards as I watch. Looks like Mary has got a robot going on a hexagon. Okay, so I got my door closed. I'm going to just bring in my paper cutter, hopefully. I think I might, maybe I might be better off just to use my scissors and just go along here and just trim this off since I have double the thickness. So I'm just going to trim that off and just even that up a little bit. Oh, that's not perfect, but it'll be all right. Okay, so I have met my see-through because you can see through the card base to the rustic garden fashion um, queen best corset and skirt supporter and then I just need to come up with some type of a hexagon fashion and figure out what else I'm going to do with this card to make it look like something that I might be able to use so give me a minute to do a little thinking and a little watching of craft roulette and I'll come back to you Okay, for at least one element, I was looking through the same pack, and I've got this um, sticker on here that says good for 10 cents in merchandise, and it just seems like that would be a good color for this uh, vintage garden theme fashion, and I'm just going to put it on some craft colored uh, cardstock and I'm going to put it on there but I'll pop it up I'm still looking for some type of a hexagon feature I haven't found it yet I may have to use my Cricut to come up with something so I'm going to look around and see if I have anything and if not then I'll use my Cricut so stay tuned okay so I found this little circular um, sticker out of the same Catherine Holden 
packet and I added some craft, a craft circle with a little, um, I don't know, what is that, like a stitching? And I thought I'd put that on there and then I thought I needed a hexagon and I think I've got a hexagon here. So, and I've made it like a cell so that we're having a cell on our corsets and skirt supporters, <laughs> which I think is hilarious. I don't think anybody hardly even wears slips anymore, much less a corset. But anyway, unless they're into some other activities. Um, so I'm just, I've already popped this up. And I am going to just lay this down. And I want to move it over just a little bit. And I did, I did find this little piece that I'm thinking about putting it on here. Let me see if I can find it again. This right here kind of looks like vintage garden. Rustic garden, I guess. I said vintage, I mean rustic. And so I think I could, probably should have popped that off. Probably should not have put that on there yet. But I was thinking I could put that on the top because I've got that little edge of white showing there and I'm not really satisfied with that. So I think I could put that down on there. And it's just the right size for this panel. It must be A2 panel size. And I can just um, either bend it over or cut it off. And I think I'll just take and line it up there, turn it over and just cut that off. And then that'll cover up that little white line I had there. And it'll just kind of drive home that rustic garden theme that we have as an element. So I've got that off there and I've got a little tiny bit on this side here. So I think that looks nice. Now, um, on the inside I've got this panel showing that I really don't like. So I think I'm going to take a, um, I might just take an extra piece of this and use my A2 size die and cut it out and put it on there and then that'll kind of bring the outside element in. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that out and I'll cover that up and I think that'll look lovely. Okay, so I got my inside panel cut and I'm just going to take my tape glue runner and just um, go along the edges here and lay it down. Just try and line it up as nicely as I can cover up my edges. Just want to cover up that blue because I just don't think it looks that great. So I think that'll be nice on the inside and then I can add some kind of sentiment. But I like this, but I thought, you know, I've got this corset and skirt supporter and I don't really have like a dress or a skirt or anything. So I thought I'd take my pattern that I used for this right here and just cut it out of a teeny weeny um, pattern of something that would kind of go along with, I had this little piece of black and gold um, floral that um, came within that same paper pack and I thought that would look nice on there and I thought I'd just add it. Now I have no idea what I would use this card for personally but um, I believe it meets all the parameters. We have the see-through window um, which we have the rustic garden and fashion theme and I've got my hexagon cell sign there and then um, I think it'll, I think it meets all the parameters. So it was kind of fun to do. I've got this little vintage garden um, border there that I think looks nice and I really like it. So it's fun um, outside of my comfort zone, but that's why I watch Craft Roulette so that it gets me to think beyond, you know, what I would normally think. So I'd encourage you if you get a chance to check out the show, it's so much fun. Um, just the community is wonderful and just the ideas, you know, that you get from when you're given these parameters, you just have to think through, you know. Sometimes when you set at your craft table, you just think, I'm going to make this and that and this and that. But when you're thrown kind of all these loopholes, it just forces you to become really creative and different things. So I would encourage you to check it out if you haven't. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. Um, I welcome any and all comments, and I'm so thankful for each and every one of my subscribers, and look forward to our next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.